Hey CLX, my name is Derek and you probably remember my name since I was always calling customer service and emailing them, but you guys were patient and answered all of my questions. I love this computer, so let's check it out. Before I got this PC, I had an Asus all-in-one computer since 2015 and it was great until I got into video editing and it was excruciating waiting for my videos to always render. So I started to learn about computers and all the little different components about it and figured to build myself one perfect for what I want. And with the help from CLX, I was able to build my perfect rig perfect for my needs. So let's get started. So with the help from CLX, I was able to build the perfect rig for my needs. I'm not a huge gamer, but the only thing I played on it is Microsoft Flight Simulator X. It's perfect for what I have and the four monitors that I have behind me. So let me show you what I got. So let's start with the outside. I'm using a Micro ATX Tower by Gamdius. It is the Talos E1 Micro Tower and came with three RGB fans, two in the front, one in the rear. I also added two additional fans to the top and one is an exhaust and the bigger one is the incoming air. I also added two LED strips behind the front and I have it set to blink to music or sounds that is playing through my computer. I love how the door is on hinges and swings open. I see a lot of people frustrated that they have to remove the whole panel to get inside. It has also some nice switches and ports on the top of the front of the case and all in all the case fits everything perfectly and neatly inside. The CLX logo in the front sets it off. The power supply is the basic stock version from Cybertron PC. The 500 watts is enough for my needs and powers everything without any issues. And it sits down at the bottom left of the case. I also have three types of hard drives. The Patriot SSD was the one that came with it. And after learning about the M.2 NVMe, I upgraded to that for the OS boot up and it is really fast. The capacity is small on it, but I really only need it for the OS. The last hard drive is a 6TB hard disk drive for all of my video editing files and it is partitioned into two 3GB sections and has worked flawlessly. The RAM memory originally was two 8GB sticks from ADATA and after a while I upgraded to two more 8GB RAM sticks by Corsair. The added boost is definitely noticeable for 4K editing in Sony Vegas. No overclocking here by the way. The motherboard is made by Asus, my favorite computer components brand. It is the Prime B450M-A-CSM. It's obviously the micro ATX side and has a couple of PCI slots. It doesn't have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, unfortunately, and I couldn't add it because the second PCI slot is covered by the gigantic GPU I have. More on that later. I prefer to use Ethernet anyway for my internet, and Bluetooth I rarely use anyway with the PC, so the trade-off was fine for me. I like that there is a lot packed into the micro ATX motherboard. There are two places where you can add fans, and a place to add another RGB header, which I use for the strip lights. All in all, perfect motherboard for my setup. The black PCB really sets off the design well. So speaking of the GPU, it is also made by Asus, of course. It is the Radeon RX 5500 XT 8GB, and may be overkill for what I'm using the computer for, but it is definitely a nice to have when you need it. The fans rarely come on, if that, and the temperature of the GPU stays pretty chill, but it will handle certain video editing rendering like a champ. I like that it can support four monitors, but the weird thing is that it has three display ports and only one HDMI. I am not sure why it's not consistent, but I was able to get the right cables for my setup anyway. The accent lighting isn't customizable, but it still adds a nice touch. Last but definitely not least is the brains of the PC, the CPU. I have the AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. It's currently clocked at 4.2 GHz, the stock is 3.9 GHz, and has done an amazing job so far handling all of the tasks on my computer, especially 4K video editing. When I'm not video editing, it's basically overkill, but nothing wrong with having a fast processor for even the simple things. What's also great is that it comes with one of the best stock cooling fans, the Wraith Prism Fan, and comes with software to customize the colors and patterns. One of the things I made sure to get is a motherboard that could handle upgradable CPUs, so maybe in the future I'll be looking at a Ryzen 9 or a Threadripper just to have even more speed for video editing. 
All right, there you have it guys, my CLX PC. And as a first time customer, I'm completely satisfied with it. So thanks a lot, CLX. It was a pleasure doing business with you guys. And you guys are awesome. So we'll see you guys next time.